Hello, this is Mark Sidonio from LearningExchange.ptc.com, and today I'll go over Dimension and Sketcher for Creo Parametric 1.0. For this demonstration, I have a few undimensioned sketches ready, so the first step will be to right click on Sketch 1 and click Edit Definition. Now I'm going to click on the Normal Dimension tool, and one way you can use the Normal Dimension tool is by double clicking on a pre existing dimension and then typing the new dimension in the box. I'm going to type 75. Another way is to click on an existing feature, in this case I'll use the angled line, and then move perpendicular to the line and click on the scroll wheel to create the dimension. I'm going to type in 160 into the cue box. I'll do this again on, for the other line on the other side. So first click on the line, and then click on the scroll key, and now create the dimension. Now watch what happens as I try and dimension the last remaining line. You see this box appears in the corner because the sketch is now overdefined. The reason it's overdefined is because adding that last dimension gives us no new information about the size of this sketch. Now I want to dimension sketch 2. So I'm going to right click on sketch 2 and click edit definition. Again I'm going to click the normal dimension tool. This time I want to dimension the angle between those two lines. So I'm going to click on one line, then click on the other line, then click on the scroll wheel between those two lines to give myself the angle. I'm going to type in an angle of 50 degrees for this one, and I'll show you again on this next angle. So I'm going to click on the one line, now click on the other line, and now click down on the scroll wheel between those two lines, and it's going to give me the angle, and I'll type it to be 75. Now I want to dimension between the two parallel lines. So I'm going to click on one line, then click on the other line, and then between those two lines, click down on the scroll wheel, and that'll give me the dimension between those two lines. I'm going to change this to be 40. Now I'm going to click OK. I now want to dimension Sketch 3, so like earlier, I'm going to right click on Sketch 3 and click Edit Definition. I'm now going to click on the Normal Dimension tool. The first thing I'm going to dimension is this diameter, and I'm going to make it 40. And now I'm going to click on the feature and then click the scroll wheel and notice that that diameter changed to a radius which I'm now going to make 30. Now I'm going to want to measure the angle of this arc. So to do so I'm going to click on the first point, then the center point of the arc, and then the last point. And then click the scroll wheel in the middle like earlier with the other angles and I'm going to change this to 90 degrees. Right now I have my arc dimensioned as an angle but if I want I could easily make it into an arc length first by clicking on the dimension then right clicking and click convert to length and there we have it as an arc length the same procedure can also be used for changing radiuses to diameters so there again convert to diameter you could also use this similar procedure to change the type of dimension now I'm going to change this arc length back to an angle and I'm going to unclutter these dimensions by moving them to move a dimension just make sure you have your select tool selected and then just click on the dimension and drag. That simple. Well now that I'm done dimensioning I'm just gonna click OK and finish the sketch. Well I hope you found that tutorial useful. This is Mark Tidonio from learningexchange.ptc.com and feel free to check out more content at PTC University and at learningexchange.ptc.com.